Welcome back to Command and Conquer Red Alert 3 Uprising and welcome back to the Commander's Challenge. So we just unlocked the Sentry Bomber. And let's see what's, what challenge was unlocked here. Fury of the Empire. And that gives us a Giga Fortress Core. Yeah, I think I'm going to take on um, this one here next. The Empire of the Rising Sun's Giga Fortress may be the most advanced weapon ever developed, so we would very much like to have a look at it. And we know that you of all people must have what it takes to crack a couple of them open. Commander Takara will be waiting. She knows what we are after. You have already brought us so far, but if you can do this, our R&D will catapult a century ahead, in which, in which case we'll have something special for you. Come back soon. I think this might actually be the last the last mission in the, in the challenge of the main challenges. Of course, there are still side challenges, but I think I'm just going to do this now, because why not? Last time we met, I was too easy on you. This time, I've brought the Giga Fortress with me. What? You don't know what that is? This might be fun. A matter of fact, I do know what that is, because we fought Giga Fortresses before. Even in this... Construction complete. And there's mode here, so yeah, that's not really that's not really news. So let's oh, look at the nice Japanese garden here in the middle of China. But yeah, then again, the the maps they use they sort of fit. Occasionally use a snow map for an area that's actually a snow area, but most of the time it's they don't really care. But that's all right. So Takara has a lot of Giga Fortress here. Here's one. Here's two. Yeah, well, here's some guarding these positions here, so you're going to need a lot of firepower to take all of those out. If you indeed try to do that. For now, let's just get another engineer. And let's get... We'll hit him probably in... Yeah, here, there's an oil dark here, so let's get him in, in there. Yeah, here we go, you get in here. And with that said and done, let's get... Let's actually get a, a mainframe core. As soon as we can get one. So... Come on, just a little more money. Just a little more. But we've got three refineries soon, that should give us some decent income. Even though for this mission we did not have a higher budget. As we had, as we did in the previous one. That was quite, that's actually quite nice. Even with just 5,000 starting dollars more, you can already... Already have a little bit of a head start. Which is great, so you can you can run. Let's see whether this is the distance you can actually run, or whether you will run out of breath just before. Nope, you do not. I think this is the best use of the running ability because then you kind of skip the recovery phase. Oh no, these guys—do they leave the map at one point, and do they just reappear somewhere else? I think they actually do. Yeah, I think they just just pop up here again. I'm okay with that though. I'm not going to complain. And I think I'm going to go for Yuriko again. And probably maybe with Rocket Angel back up, we'll see. So, let's get this upgrade here straight away. And yeah, Takara might try to take over this, this Derek here. So let's maybe get one Imperial Guard over there. Just in case. You could also get a Shinobi, but Shinobi is kind of expensive. And there's no need to get one right now, to be honest. Yeah, the Shinobi is more... You could get two Archer Mains for that. I don't really like them all that much. Or that thing is actually more expensive than the Rocket Angel. But then again, you're not really supposed to use these in an, in an army or anything. Upgrade complete. So the let's get a lot of these guys. I serve the Emperor. And let's get you over here. And once Yuriko is ready, we're going to send her over to the base. Oh, we've got some, some warships here. We have to watch out for those. And what did... Did you just appear? I think you just appeared out of nowhere. Well, I'm not going to complain about that. Because there's nothing to complain, really. And looks like these oh, these guys don't even show on the radar because they are... Oh, well, look at that. Yeah, you take that, so now we're already damaged, which is not great for obvious reasons. Uh, these guys here, the rocket angels can take them out, I'm not too concerned about it, about them. Where is 
So what we're going to do is we're going to move between these guys here for obvious reasons. There we go. Stupid birth drones. I wish I you could hadn't been damaged here, but ah, that's all right. These guys here, yeah, the rocket engine will take care of them. I should get one of them the whip. Uh, yeah, that's here we go. That's that's how it's supposed to work. And let's actually give her some rocket angel backup. And I'm not too concerned about the oil derrick here. The car probably has a bunch of a bunch of refineries anyway, so it's not going to hit her income too hard. Oh, look at that! So may as well take that out, because considering how weak these dojo cores are. Oh dear. I'm s slightly more concerned about these guys here. So, oh dear. Get in here. There we go. So, I have to be a little bit careful here. Because Yuriko is damaged. And these guys, they can actually mess her up. But the good thing is there's no flag troopers here. Because, or no rocket guys. So, I'm not too concerned. So you take that guy out, and you avoid these guys here. <laughs> we can actually take this this guy here out because it's only an individual guy, so that always works. So and let's go for the base. You may as well take this guy here, and you can take out these power plants here quickly, just in case they have base defenses. Those should be crippled now. And this guy here. There we go. Uh, you take that out, you take the construction yard. There we go. And I don't know if they even have an arms factory. We'll see. Oh, they do have a, they do have production facilities here. So let's get over there straight away. Here we go. And yeah, here we go. And let's take, you can take out that, you take out the harvester because they can go into assault mode. Which you obviously don't want. And here we go. Now let's do the same again. Here we go. Actually you're supposed to take that guy out but never mind. Here we go. And I think the only thing that's left is actually their their shipyard here, yeah. But that shouldn't be much of a problem. So let's just get down there. And let's take it out. And Yur oh, Yuriko is already at full promotion, so that's nice for us. And you can't do anything, Ares Subs. Sorry about that. And here we go. I lost again. Fine. Take the Giga Fortress. It didn't help me. That is actually true. That's because you didn't use it. They were just standing there and doing nothing. And that's why you failed. Yeah, but that's how things work. Again, one of those missions where I can exploit the fact that the enemy is is working on super heavy equipment, not really building a whole lot of stuff, because Takara pretty much almost had nothing. She'd got those two tanks and that one sea wing and a bunch of burst drones, so that was it. And she was tacking up heavily. I think she's actually going to build more Giga Fortresses over time, but that's not really an issue. And that was actually the last, Empire's last technology. Now we have got the entire Empire's arsenal. We have three Soviet and three Allied technologies left, but I think this was actually the last main challenge. Very impressive. I have to be honest with you. None of us expected you to actually make it this far. Many of our shareholders assumed the worst after our last CEO's untimely demise. We humbly ask that you consider the generous offer we've prepared. I'll be visiting you this evening to review the terms in private. Until then, imagine the possibilities. Imagine what we can accomplish in the future. Congratulations! Outstanding! You have completed the Commander's Challenge and a much deserved promotion to CEO of Future Tech Corp. Together with all the wealth, privileges, private jets, newfangled gadgets, Adorong fans, fabulous attire, fame, luxury automobiles, beachhead property, tax breaks, backstage concert tickets, season box set, seat sporting event tickets, attractive personal assistance, peace of mind, and occasional work-related responsibilities implied forthwith. 
but before you rest on your laurels, do consider that still weather fortunes await. Should you return to finish all of the side challenges, let alone finish all the challenges under posted part time, note that this could reasonably be expected of anyone. Not that this could reasonably be expected of anyone, not even of our illustrious CEO. Yeah, I'm definitely going to complete all the challenges, but I'm not going to complete all the challenges under part time because for some of them it's just a massive pain and. I know you can use several strategies, but more often than not just boils down to, to, to a dojo rush. Anyway, thanks for watching and I shall see you next time in the remaining... Yeah, it should be remaining six challenges because we have three technologies for both Ellas and Soviets left, so take care and goodbye. And see you then.